when you have your storyboard completed and ready for distribution, you've got a couple of options. Obviously, everything is in this one self-contained Excel sheet. You may want to distribute that sheet to other people. There's a couple of things you'd like to do probably before you do that. If I go back to the template area here, I would suggest you come up here and you highlight the whole range by clicking on the top left cell. Then you hit the right mouse button and go to Format Cells. And be sure your protection is set to locked. And what we want to do is prevent anyone from coming in here and editing this so they could change your storyboard in any way if they're using it directly in Excel. So be sure that's in locked and it says locking cells or hiding formulas have no effect until you protect the worksheet using the review tab, the changes or the protect sheets. A couple of ways you can get to that. So make sure it's locked. And then what you want to do is come up here and you see in the review tab here, there's an option here called protect sheet. You click on this, it's going to ask you for a password and you could um, you can just leave these defaults. These are fine. Another way you can get to it, you can also get to this by hitting the right mouse button on the tab at the bottom and there's a protect sheet. You get to exactly the same place. And it says protect worksheet and contents of locked cells. You've already locked all the cells. So now we're going to give it a password here. Right, and then we click on the OK and ask us to confirm the password and then you click on the OK and now everything is locked so nobody can make any changes on this and now you've protected the content of the storyboard well here and now you're ready to distribute it so what you do is you just save the XLSM file and you want to be sure that all the video content is also uh, collected with it so you've got the file and you want any videos that are referenced in the actual storyboard should be gathered together and what you do then is you take the Excel sheet and all the video content and you can distribute that via DVD or probably the easiest way to do it is to use the shared network drive that your company might have. If you put the Excel sheet and all the video contents on the shared network drive in the same folder, that's a trick here, I cannot emphasize that enough, put the Excel sheet and the video content into the same folder on that network drive. Anyone who can see the network drive can come to it. If they've got Excel, they can open up the storyboard and they can just click on the play and it will play there directly for them. So that's the way to distribute the work content on any shared network drive. Put the Excel workbook and any associated videos onto the shared drive in a specific folder. Make sure the Excel workbook and the videos go into the same folder. That's the trick.